Hum rijal wa nahnu rijal. You hear this all the time. Those four imams, they're regular human beings. We're also regular human beings. Why can't I start my own method? And the answer is, you can. Go ahead and do it and see who's going to follow you and document every question, learn Arabic, and get me somebody to sign off that you're a master of Arabic grammar. One person, one scholar. Get me one scholar to sign off that you're a master of Quran and Tafsir. Get me one scholar, just one, to sign off that you're a master of Hadith. Get me one scholar to sign off that you're a master of Usul, if you even know what Usul means. Do it. Now document all the questions. Cover all the questions of Islam. Everything about traveler's prayer. Everything about how to distribute spoils of war. Everything about divorce. Everything about inheritance. And then cover the new matters. I need fatwa on Bitcoin. I need fatwa on the nation state. I need a definition on Darul Kuf and Darul Islam and Darul Harb. I need fatwas on Hijra. When is it obligatory? When is it permitted? When is the exception? All that stuff. After you're done doing that, now go convince people to follow you. You can't have a method if you want to. Prove yourself first. These imams were signed off on by the biggest scholars of their time. Malik has ijaz up from hundreds. I think one narration said he had 600 teachers all signed off that he can give fatwa in the city of Medina. All of his contemporaries. By the way, how was a scholar of a madhab deemed valid at that time? How is he validated? He's validated by his peers. Every profession, it's validated by your peers. When you become a doctor, what does that medical degree mean? It, it means that 30, 40 professors that you had over four years individually signed off on the different subjects that they taught you. That's essentially what it is. And the president of the college symbolizes all of them. So when I see that medical degree on your wall, I know 40 other doctors agreed that you're valid to be a doctor. Same thing, Awza'i, for example, was the imam of Syria. Malik said, Awza'i imam un yutaba. Awza'i is an imam to be followed. So a mujtahid imam is somebody, a mujtahid means someone who can come up with the conclusions by himself, directly from the book and the sunnah. That type of person is the one who other imams have validated him, okay? Who's a Hall of Famer in any sport? It's a player that other Hall of Famers said, he's one of us. We see the attributes, okay? He's a Hall of Famer too. He's worthy of being a Hall of Famer. Same thing with him which stayed imam and for any expert in any religion or any field. Now, keep in mind, you can become an expert by yourself, self-appointed in any field in which there is no liability. Like what? and artists. There's no liability. If your painting stinks, no one dies. No one's going to be a pilot because he thinks he's, he's a pilot. You can be an artist if you imagine yourself to be an artist. You can't be a pilot. You can't be a bridge builder. You can't be a doctor. You can't be a dentist because you imagine yourself to be a dentist. Well, Islam, religion, deen has eternal heaven and hell at risk. It's far worse than operating on someone's heart. If you operate on someone's art, it's one of the worst things they could die. Okay? But if you give someone a fatwa in religion and they go astray, they be punished on the day of judgment for eternity or for a long time and amount of pain that you can't even dream about. That's why the matter is very conservative in matters that have or in, in subjects that have liability. And religion has a lot of liability, so you can't play around. Imam Siyulti was one of the greatest imams. He lived around 900, year 1000 of the Hijra, and he had the qualifications to open his own madhab. And he said he's going to do it. The scholar said, we don't doubt you in terms of your knowledge, but we just don't need one. Practically speaking, it's not necessary. And then he agreed. He said, at the end of the day, when I looked at my methodology, it was essentially Shafi's, right? So he stayed in the Shafi school. So again, in theory, in principle, you can't have your own method but you have to walk the walk. And we all recognize that that's not happening.